Men's hoops tonight as UND played a neutral site game against Dickinson State. It marks the first time since 2007 that the Fighting Hawks have traveled to Bismarck for a game. And a big part of that is due to the three Bismarck guys on the Hawks roster. Bismarck High's Trace and Eagle staff a big part of this team as a junior, but it was the Blue Hawks who came to play early in this one. How about Kose Igbule taking the runner, kissing it high off the glass, putting Dickinson State in front. Didn't take long for Eagle staff to get going though. Navigating through the middle of the lane, laying one in with the right handed finish. The Hawks trying to find an advantage in transition. Aiden Fischel finding Braden Palmer, a bucket on the other end, but Blue Hawks were no match tonight. Eagle staff again driving, working the baseline this time. The little fake catching the defender off guard. Two of his team high, 17 points. And in the second half, the Century guys getting some work. Ryan Erickson with a nice give and go, finishing inside as part of an eight point night for himself. This one goes UND's way 85 54. Here's Eagle staff on the perspective of what a game back in Bismarck meant to him. Sometimes you just got to sit back and enjoy it. And that's sometimes I forget to do that. Um, and coming back here, it reminded me that I'm playing basketball to have fun. Like I'm, I'm getting to play my childhood dream right now. And I have to realize, like, stop taking everything so serious and just relax and go play basketball. So, Exactly when I first saw my name out and I heard my, my mom yelling and all my family and everything and then just looking up at the board and seeing signs of little kids and 52 and stuff, that's just, I just, I'm a big, I'm a big family guy. I'm all about love and I just felt a bunch of love in the building today and I just, it's a really cool, really cool experience. Well, same matchup over on the women's side and it was a back and forth battle in the first half. The Fighting Hawks take off with a 7-0 run to start the game. Jayla Owen finds Twine with a triple from the wing, keeping her team in front. But the Blue Hawks won the rebounding battle tonight. And a big part of the story was offensive rebounds. A tip out from Samantha O's eventually finds Caden Still, who gives DSU the lead with a high floater. The Blue Hawks were powered by Anel Shanrock the entire night. 19 points on 50% shooting. These two coming off a drive and left-handed finish. But late in the first half, UND starts to surge thanks to the freshman Jocelyn Schiller, the Red River product, finishing the night with 15 points as UND pulls away in the second half for a 77-58 win. Well, night two of the Region Volleyball Tournament tips off tonight, and now we are down to just two more wins needed for a state tournament appearance. We go to Dickinson Trinity for Region 7, the home team Titans taking on Hedinger Scranton in the semifinals. Nighthawks dug themselves into a first set hole, but worked its way back as Layla Jensen tools the block for a point down the left hand side. They continue to fight back as Sophia Kennedy sends a soft kill into the middle of that Trinity defense for the point. But the Titans respond as Haley Hinkie's kill touches the tape, bounces off two Hedinger Scranton defenders, and Trinity moves on to the title game with a 3-0 sweep. So who will they see on the other side? New England with a surprise semifinal appearance as the sixth seed taking on Hazen. Macy Van Inwagen wastes no time getting into the scoring column back for the Bison as her back tip catches the Tigers off guard. The Bison defense strong in the net. Lauren Dahl escalating for the block and the Hazen point. The first set offense was slim for the Tigers, but Emma Olsnowski gets her kill to find the floor, but this one goes Hazen's way with a sweep. The top two seeds will face off Thursday night. And in Region 3, the championship is set between Linton HMB and Medina Pingree Buchanan. Both teams coming out of District 6. Both teams ranked in the state rankings. The Thunder took down top seeded Carrington from District 5, 3 to 1. And finally, in Region 5, top seeded Central McLean goes to the championship with a sweep. Shiloh Christian upsets second seeded Flasher 3 to 1. It'll be Skyhawks versus Cougars on Thursday night. Coaches and athletes, if you are signing a national letter of intent for National Signing Day tomorrow, please let us know. We'd love to come cover it and be a part of a milestone day as athletes across the country sign to play sports at the next level. Always.